What is up guys, Zach in here, and in today's video, I'm gonna break down a $22,000 assignment deal right here on this townhouse in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. I'm so excited to share with you exactly how we got this deal, how we made $22,000 on the assignment, and lastly, and most importantly, how you can do the same thing in your wholesaling business. Guys, this is one of the best times to get into wholesaling real estate. I wanna break down this deal exactly. I'm here, ready to go, and let's get it going. Guys, before we get into it, remember you need to smash the like button and subscribe, and let's get into it. So you might be asking me like, Zach, how did you get a deal like this? And I thought your average deal was like 40, 50, $60,000, and that's the truth. Now, the thing I really wanna emphasize here is not every real estate wholesaling deal has to look really pretty or nice or the deal just has to be perfect. You know, a lot of these real estate wholesaling deals you're gonna find are with motivations with the seller and not with the property. This property is pretty clean. Like it needed some renovations obviously, but it was occupied by some older people and it really didn't need too much work. Obviously we got some people working on the property today and they're doing the demo on it. They're doing the flooring, kitchen, everything. So this is a deal that I actually already have wholesaled. So the property's already going right here. Um, as you can see here, we locked this property up, sold it, got about a $22,000 assignment fee here. And what I can tell you is this is probably one of the biggest things with wholesaling real estate is a lot of people are struggling wholesaling deals over three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars in those ARVs. This is a property with an ARV under two hundred thousand dollars, and this is a townhouse in Port St. Lucie, Florida. There's an HOA. You need an approval process to get through this deal. There's a lot of hiccups with it that a lot of wholesalers in Port St. Lucie just refuse to do. So when our team actually went and actually talked to the seller here and figured out that this HOA was actually a situation where if we were going to buy the house, we actually have to go to the HOA board every month apply to actually buy the property and we have to get actually approved to actually purchase it. There's a lot of restrictions on here and it's very difficult to go buy and sell a property. It takes months and months for the HOA to, to actually get things approved. So in a situation like this, you can either just give up on the deal and go to the next one and lose on potential tens of thousands of dollars on an assignment fee, or you can persevere and do the options that we're saying. So this is an ARV under 200,000. The HOA fees per month is like 100 bucks, nothing too crazy, but the problem here is there's a clubhouse, you have to get approved, it's a big hassle, and a lot of people ask me like, how do you get these deals done? And the answer is, you need to find the right cash buyer. So the cash buyer here that's actually working on the property today, they actually bought it, and they actually went to the HOA meeting, they got approved, they went through the interview process, and I'm telling you, it's not as daunting. If you just interview and say, hey, I'm gonna fix up the property, make the values better in the neighborhood, you're probably gonna get approved. It's really not that big of a deal, and most people just run away from HOA properties, and really, you shouldn't be. So we found this deal from a cold calling lead. We cold called the tire landlord list and the tire landlord list is perfect. This is a list straight from listrei.com. You can get this from Batch Leads also. But this is a list that we got of people that are landlords. So these are people that actually don't live in the property. Their mailing address is another place and they're actually renting the property out. Someone else is actually living in the house and this is a landlord that's owned it for a while property is a little older this is a house from the 80s that was built in the 80s and this is just a tire landlord they actually lived in this house they moved up to new york and they're renting this place out for 10 plus years and you know ever since everything crazy has been happening they're just getting sick of it the tenants stopped paying and they were just getting sick of not getting any payment they're sick of the games of being a landlord tenant situation they didn't want to deal with the hassle of it anymore and when our team cold called them asked them if they want to sell the property boom of course they wanted to sell it right so we had the conversation now here's the most important thing the seller lived in upstate New York and we're in Port St. Lucie, Florida. There was no way we could have met with the seller. This is a deal that we had to do virtually. Since the seller was in New York and we had to do this deal virtually, pretty much all we did was we asked how can we get access to the property. The best thing was they actually had a lockbox straight on the door. So all our team had to do was drive over here, put the combination in the lockbox, look at the property, why talking to the seller. It takes trust for them to actually give you a lockbox on the property, but remember, when the seller in virtual wholesaling has a lockbox on it and they just let you go through it, they're trusting you. You need to accept that trust and have a duty as a real estate wholesaler to go out here and leave the property as good as you found it, make sure everything's locked, there's no water, make sure the AC is fine. And really what we did there, since we had the property in a lockbox, we did it, we were on the phone, we did that virtual appointments. At the end of the time, when they're ready to make a decision on selling the property, we gave them their offer. The seller wanted to sell for around $155,000 and we weren't really comfortable with that number. We were kind of closer to 110,000 for it. We met the middle and locked it up for $135,000. And then we sold it to a cash buyer for 157,000. Obviously, we'd love to sell it for 180, $190,000 for it, 
But you gotta remember with this deal, you had to go through an HOA, you had to go through a whole legitimate transaction, and you needed a cash buyer that actually closed on it and do all the hassle in the loops and that would actually be approved from the HOA. So we found one that actually buys a lot of deals from us that actually will do the work fine and make sure the property is gonna be done because the seller wanted to sell in three months and the process of actually selling this with an HOA is insanely hard. So once the seller agreed for 135,000, all we did was we sent that contract over via dot loop to the seller on their email our team talked him through the process. It was actually a 30 minute phone call actually showing him how to do the e-sign. They never did that before, but this was someone over 60 years old who lived in upstate New York that is not the best with technology. Their grandson actually had to come and help them do the e-signature. But again, with the times that are going on right now, people are extremely comfortable doing e-signatures and e-signing. It's kind of second nature now. A lot of people are learning how to do things over the computer. So it was pretty simple for them to do and they're ready to go. So we locked it up. We got a cash buyer through. It was with a lockbox, so it was really easy. All they had to do was go through the property, look at it and see if it was good to go. And then boom, we assigned it, made $22,000. Here's the proof of us making the check there and just showing you guys, we do this business for real. Let's go check out the deal and sort of see what we can do. The cash buyer is doing some demo, so the flooring is different than right now. It is not all demolished, but they are, we're doing some work on it. So let's check out the property and show you exactly what we are seeing when we're on it and what we use for examples and how we use the property's condition to get the best price possible. As you can see here, there's some demo going on the property. It's kind of like a carpet with a tile flooring here. Obviously, the bathroom was kind of nasty. It kind of had that weird 80s vibe going. More demo had to be going on here, but you know the walls. The cash buyer is definitely going to repaint it, do the flooring. Uh, this was the bathroom. Going through here, here's the actual kitchen. Obviously, it needs to be renovated, but really, at the end of the day, it's not that bad of a kitchen, as you can see. I mean, it's obviously, it needs updating, but it's definitely livable, and from some of the really terrible, disgusting properties I've showed you, this is literally not that bad. AC's a tad old, but not too bad, still blowing cold. Has a little porch area in the back here, Florida room, master bedroom. Then the bathroom, it still needs renovated, but really not that bad. As you can see here in the neighborhood, I mean, it's a pretty nice neighborhood. It's well kept. Uh, the HOA does take good care of it. The best way I can explain it is, there's a lot of older people who are living here from New York, New Jersey, uh, expensive places like California, snowbirds that are ready just to live here and live in a nice sunny weather, guys. So they really enjoy it and they keep it pretty nice. I mean, obviously this community is kind of older. It really does need a revamp. Uh, a lot of places in Florida are sort of like this. So the ARVs are really low. They should be a lot higher, but they're really not that renovated and a lot of these places really need to get renovated. So a really good idea I wanna to give to you is, Look for communities in your area. I know this is like a Florida thing. Georgia has this. A lot of the Southeast where a lot of retirees are, where it's sort of an HOA community with really low ARVs that aren't 55 plus. I just want you to know, you can make a ton of money wholesaling these and, and you can make a fortune just going after these people, renting these things out and it can do well. An HOA community that doesn't allow rentals is probably not gonna be the best thing, but guys, when someone has a rental, there's opportunity for the property to get distressed. So you can go out here and give a cash offer and you can make money and the seller can make money and can do a win-win solution. So the moral of the story here is even in a neighborhood that seemingly looks pretty nice, maybe it needs some updating. Those are some of the best properties to do. And especially when you're in a community where most wholesalers will run away, if you can do the extra steps and actually find a cash buyer that's willing to buy it, you can actually go out here and do very well. Go out here and go to the tired landlords list, the absentee owner lists, find ARVs that are low, include HOAs, and this is, this is a pretty good list to do. Skip trace it through whatever skip tracing you want, but I'm telling you, you go after these type of sellers, these type of leads, you can make money. I don't want you to see a deal that, that has an HOA and run from it. Obviously there's HOAs that are like $1,000 a month. They don't allow any corporations to buy it. A lot of problems. We were allowed to buy this with the corporation, so the cash buyer is fine with it. At the end of the day, we're going after these properties. Like I was driving through here, or acquisitions people were driving through here. There's like four or five houses that are completely trashed and they're really exciting opportunities for us that no other wholesaler in here is doing because they see an HOA and they run away. Guys, this is an opportunity for you. Go out here, drive for dollars in these neighborhoods. There's a couple for sale by owners here. It's gonna, these are great conversation starters for you to have. So go out here, do some deals and let's get it guys. So remember, this is a great cold calling list. So go out here, start cold calling. Just remember guys, this is a numbers game. So when you're cold calling these sellers, keep at it. Keep cold calling. If you keep it up five hours a day, five days a week for months straight, you're gonna start getting deals. 
cold calling is one of the fastest ways to go get deals and start getting it guys so this is the time guys guys this is the time to get into wholesaling real estate this is the time to start changing your life guys make twenty thousand imagine if you do a twenty thousand dollar wholesaling deal like this every single month you can make a quarter million dollars a year just from cold calling absolutely for free literally costs nothing go here guys and get it going also you got to think about this this is a deal that came up on zero government lists now you guys know i love preaching government lists but this is a deal that there would be no government lists at all because it was just a tired landlord. So some of these government lists I do preach about, there's also distressed properties that have zero indications from government list. So sometimes you wanna go use a service where you have to buy the list and actually go find them. This is one of them. I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you soon. Thanks.